Hello everyone, welcome to the Easy Accordion Pro plugin video tutorial. Before going to the plugin features, let me show you a few examples of the accordion showcase that can be created using Easy Accordion Pro plugin. There are 16 themes available to showcase your accordion. Let's have a look at the theme designs along with different features. The features are not theme based and they can be used with any of the themes. First, you can create a beautiful FAQ section including the FAQ search field. This is theme 2 and you can set a custom accordion to open during the page load. As you can see, the third accordion expanded on the page load. This is the customized version of the theme 2, included expand and collapse all button. This is theme 3 and you can change the color and typography properties as you like. This is the customized version of theme 3, where the accordion mode is set to autoplay. This is how the theme 4 looks. You can embed YouTube videos to the accordion content field and the field is other plugin shortcut supported as well. This is theme 5. This is theme 6 along with an expand animation. This is how the theme 7 looks. This is theme 8 with expand and collapse button and this is theme 9. This is theme 10 and the background color is set to the title and description section. This is theme 11 without any border. This is how the theme 12 looks. You can add custom icon to the accordion title. This is theme 13 preview. This is theme 14 and SoundCloud audio embedded to the accordion content section. This is theme 15 and this is theme 16 preview. You can also create a nested or multi-level accordion using any of the themes. Additionally, you can create an accordion section with the WordPress post. This is the demo of the horizontal accordion layout. You are allowed to configure all the themes to achieve your desired goal. Let me give you a quick overview of all the plugin features and then I will show you how you can create an accordion showcase in real quick. So let's get started. Once you have installed and activated the plugin on your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called Easy Accordion. When you click on it, it will take you to the Accordion Groups page. Here you will find all the accordion groups you have created using Easy Accordion Pro plugin listed in one place. For each accordion group, you will find a title, a short code, an accordion type and the date it was published. If you want to make a copy of any accordion, then simply click on the duplicate button. Now let's move on to the all important add new accordion groups. Once you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will get all the features required to create your accordions. First type a title for the accordion groups then set an accordion type from content or post when you select accordion type as content you can add as many items as you want click add new item here you will find a title field and we see editor where you can add text images videos code and shortcut from other plugins select a font icon from the list and if you wish to set a custom icon then you can set it from here and check the box if you want to inactive any accordion item. So let's create a few accordion items. You can order the accordion items by doing drag and drop like this. And if you want to duplicate any accordion items then simply click on the duplicate icon. If you wish to delete any accordion item then click on the cross icon. If you select accordion type as post, you will have the option to select a post types from post, pages or products. You can filter the post using latest taxonomy and specific filter. Order the post by id date random title modified menu order or drag and drop. And you can set an order in between ascending or descending and set how many posts you want to display in the accordion. Let's move on to the accordion content type and publish the shortcode then go to a page where you want to display the accordion. Insert the shortcode in a code block or shortcode block and publish the page and preview it. So this is how the accordion looks initially. This is how the inactive accordion looks like. Now let's go to the accordion configuration tabs again. As you can see there are several tabs. Initially you will be in the accordion settings tab. Here you can select a layout from vertical or horizontal. Choose a theme style from 16 different themes. When you click on a theme you can see a custom design of that theme. Select an activator event from click mouse over or autoplay. If I select it as mouse over and update the shortcode and reload the page, you will see the accordion is opening on mouse over. 
and switch on or off the autoplay close on mouse out. Then select an accordion mode from 4 different options and there first open that means the first accordion item will be opened on page load. Next one is all open that means all the accordion item will be opened on page load. Third one is all folded that means all the accordion items will be folded on page load. And finally if you select custom open then you will have the option to select a particular item to be opened on a page load. So if I set it to 2 and update the shortcode refresh the page you will see the second accordion item is opening on page load enable or disable multiple opening together that means the accordion items will keep expanded when you move to the next accordion item check the box if you want to set a fixed content height for the collapsible accordion if the content overflow the height you have set then a scroll bar will be appeared at the right side of the accordion content set a maximum height from here if i set it to 250 pixel and update the preview and reload the page you can see a scroll bar is showing at the right side of the accordion content enable or disable the schema markup and preloader from here now let's move on to the display settings here you can show or hide the accordion section title when you show it you can set a margin bottom from the section title set a margin to create a gap between the accordion items so this is the 10 pixel gap is showing in between the accordion items Show or hide the expand or collapse button. When you show it, you can change the expand and collapse level and color and the alignment. So if I update the preview and refresh the page, you can see an expand and collapse button is showing at the top right corner. So when you click on the expand all, all the accordion items will be expanded and if you click collapse, then the accordion items will be collapsed. Show or hide the accordion search field. When you show it, you can set a placeholder text. So let's see in the preview. So this is the accordion search field. So if you search anything, then it will be opened like this. You can show or expand the collapse icon from here and choose an expand and choose an expand and collapse icon from 15 different icon styles. Change the expand and collapse icon size from here. Set a margin between the collapsible icon and the title. Configure the icon color from here. Select an expand and collapse icon position. So if I set it to right and update the shortcode, reload the page, you can see the expand and collapse icon is showing at the right. Set a border, border style and border color around the accordion item. You can also select a border radius in pixel or percentage. Show or hide the title icon. Set the title icon size from here and change the title icon color as you like. Set a title background active background and hover background color from here so if i change the background color to this one and update the preview then you can see the accordion item color has been changed set an html tag for the accordion title and you can also set a padding around the accordion title check the box to stripe all html tags from the description content Enable or disable the line break with paragraph in description. Set a description background color from here. See if I set it like this. Update the preview. Reload the page. You can see a background color is showing right here. You can also set a description padding from here. Enable or disable the accordion expand animation. There are a huge list of accordion animations you can set. Uh, finally, you can set accordion expand and collapse transition time. By default, the value is set to 500 milliseconds. Now, let's move on to the typography. Here, you can set the accordion title and description font properties like font family, font style, font color, and the text alignment. So, if I change the accordion title font to this one and update the preview and reload the page, you can see accordion title font color has been changed. You can also change the accordion title, active color and hover color. So let's have a look at the horizontal layout. When you select the horizontal layout and update the preview and reload the page, you can see this is how the horizontal layout looks. Now let's go to the plugin settings menu where you can see the license activation page appears to the first. 
This is the field where you need to insert the license key to activate the plugin. Below that, in the advanced settings, you will find the options to enable or disable the CSS and Google fonts used in the plugin to run it smoothly. Next one is WooCommerce settings. By enabling the option, you can show accordion to the product single page. So let me show you how you can do this. You can show one or more accordion groups in the product single page. So next one is custom CSS. If you want to modify the plugin default styling, then write custom CSS here. Let's move on to the tools menu. Using the tools menu, you can export and import all the accordion groups you have created using the plugin. In this series of videos, you'll find all the plugin features explained one by one. So that's all about the Easy Accordion Pro plugin. Thanks for watching.